Hello, YouTubers. This is Johnny. Welcome back to my NASAP channel. Um, today, in this video, I'm going to show you some basic operation on a cyberarc. Um, so, as you can see, I'm on a cyberarc logging interface. There's a couple ways you can log in. Cyberarc can integrate with your RELD app or Secure SAML to do a single time on. Uh, you can use cyberarc local logging. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to just use a local account on a CyberArc administrator account. So, what, once you logged in, usually you will be shown in the account page. So, let's start a, uh, take a look at all interfaces here. Um, the first, on the left, the first icon is shows the system health. So in this particular setup, we have primary site and we have DR site. Um, and we can see there's a one disconnected error message for PVWA and for PSM. That's usually caused by your DR site is not having connection. Failed once, you see the last login, October 21. So there's some failed login there. You should uh, need to check. Uh, we need. I need to check the DR side to see if it's working fine. And then the second icon on the left uh, menu is uh, the account icon. Here is all accounts you created. We will we will go come here, come back here. Again, the previous session it shows you all record sessions for your last login. You can play with it. You can see what's going on on your last login. Here is an example for uh, login to Web30. Um, it's very short video, so I just uh, let it run. Basically, the login was failed the last time because some error message and then it wasn't successful. So this just gave you what kind of information this uh, icon to give you on this page. And the next one is a policy page. Uh, you will see the master policy, how, which policy you have active, which policy you disabled, how do you manage your password, how do you manage your sessions, how long you gonna store your uh, activity recordings or for what it's in purpose, 90 days by default. And also you can set up policy by platform. Here is all platform we created and also let us save this applications tab you can add in those applications that you customize the those application for yourself reports it's very straightforward you can generate some report for yourself here is an administrator part and then you can configure your uh, system cyber system from here so in this video i'm going to just show you the basic operation when you how to uh, when you got a uh, cyber academy how you onboard the user there's the three major steps to do, three major steps. First one, just go into the policy. Tab here, and then you will save. See the access control saves. Saves is like a password, a vault here. You need to create your, for a new person, you create his own save. For example, we can create, um, Test save one, and uh, you need to define uh, how do you save the account, and also you, do you want to use the password manager or not? So we will keep the default for the demo, this demonstration, and then you need to assign who gonna manage this, who gonna use this save. So you can assign multiple person to use it if it's a shared save, or you can only assign one one person for the save. So let's do uh, add a member here that so we can search. You can search based on domain user's name or you can search on local domain. I could just say uh, administrator. This is a local administrator. Let's add it in. So um, because it's uh, yourself, you cannot do that. Um, just do that, admin2. Um, 
save management, select a save member. Okay, that's basically I grant a save management role, account management role, and then it should be, we should be see it here. It's admin two basically. Um, once you created the save, then the second step, second step, you just need to create a platform. So you, so you may already create a platform, so you, based on use cases. So uh, in this particular setup, we have three platforms created. One is for Unix servers, local platform. One is for Windows Server AD platform. So the one is uh, Windows Server local platform. Basically, you can understand it's, uh, it's depending on what the user account you're gonna manage. Either it's on Unix, either it's on Windows. On Windows, you have an AD account or local account, right? If you already have those platforms set up, you can safely ignore it. If you don't have it, it just create one. So for this presentation, I uh, just uh, keep using the existing save here. I'm not gonna create a new one. If you can create a new one, you can find template easily. For example, it's Unix. Uh, this is an info mix on Unix. You can find out that for checkpoint AWS. Um, yeah, Windows is here, Windows domain account, Windows desktop local account. So if you, you need to create one, you just duplicate from here and then add it. Uh, I can show you the process, duplicate. As Windows AD save close. Test Windows AD seven. Simple and easy. Then you create a save. You create a platform here. I'm gonna delete that. Uh, the third step, the last step, also uh, you just do an account. Then you need to create an account. Just do adding account. You just select the platform. You have two platforms, basically, Windows, Unix. That's what we created. You also can do the Amazon Azure database, other security compliance network devices. You can do much, much more based on your needs. Um, in this particular setup, you have two platforms, Windows and the Unix. We do Windows here, and then they have an AD account or server, uh, a local server account. Just choose one of them. And after that, you can select save. So we create a temp save here. So we just use this test temp save. And now you need to assign a address. You can use in the host name, server name, whatever you need. You can put the IP as well. And then you need to put the account and the password. Uh, after that, you can do other option so we just add it so that's the one we yeah, we did that's the one we just add added in uh, what you can once all information correct you can just do connect send test um you can put the server name test one remote machine Then the RDP file gonna be downloaded and then double click this connection, then you should be able to connect to remote site. This is here, remote site. You will be, you have been recorded. And of course it's gonna be failed because this is just a fake account. Um, so whatever we need, just close it. Um, there's a couple of other things you may want to see is so if you want to change the password or you want to uh, delete this account, you won't find it from here. You won't delete anything from here. If you sort of edit, you won't find it. You need to switch it to a classic interface here to do change the password. Here is the change the password settings, or you can delete account. That, that's very simple here. And this is account is gone. 
same thing on a save. You can delete that save we just created. Since that is only for testing purpose. So um, there's a settings, you cannot delete a save until the delete account expired in seven days. That's basically set here. And that's all basic operations. I uh, hope you like it. I put uh, all related screenshot in my post on my blog. You will find it from description. Um, if you find it useful, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.